That night, silence arrived. It took a precedence in the trees. Not a stalk of corn was stirring. The soldiers had already burned all the nearby pastures and it smell of those things that creep in the night. That night, nobody left their homes. The soldiers sent us home and told us, don't make any sounds. We went home and did not even turn on our lamps. My children could not stop crying. They were cold and hungry. We could hear boots and laughter, the sounds of rifles and footsteps. All night, those sounds became part of our dreams. Fear gently rested on our shoulders. Morning arrived and we thought they had left. I knelt on the ground and I prayed to our good Lord. I had no food to give to my children. We then heard the same sounds again. The sounds of fury, the sounds of pride, the sounds of soldiers. I knew they were taking Maria. The wind told me. The leaves looked scared. While they were raping her on the hill called La Cruz, she sang hymns to God. Then they shot her and she seemed happy, still singing hymns of faith and grace. The soldiers could no longer look her in the eye as she kept singing, her voice rising with the wind. Again, they shot her, and Maria continued to sing under the shade of a tree, on a carpet of her own blood. The soldiers grew scared, and in order to silence her singing, they slit her throat with a machete. Silence came over the dead earth. There was no wind. I do not know whether the moon or the sun was out. It was a time without a time. They were all slaughtered. My husband, my children. I saw it. And that is why I want to remain alive. I was the only one who survived. I want to talk. I want to tell others my story. Although, no one may believe me.